The development of computer programs by plasma scientists has the potential to decrease the expenses associated with microchips and provide a boost to the American manufacturing industry. Greetings, everyone. Today we will be delving into a fascinating subject, the groundbreaking work of the Princeton Plasma Physics Laboratory, PPPL, in reducing the cost of microchips and revitalizing American manufacturing. Through the development of advanced computer programs, private industries can now utilize more sophisticated and precise simulations, ultimately leading to a decrease in microchip expenses. Remarkably, the researchers at PPPL have uncovered algorithms from the 1980s that significantly shorten the time required for simulating microchip plasma. These algorithms specifically focus on capacitively coupled plasma reactors, which play a crucial role in creating the plasma necessary for etching intricate channels in silicon wafers. These channels, in turn, form the intricate microcircuitry vital for the optimal functioning of microchips. So, without any further delay, let us embark on our insightful discussion. The significance of microchip devices in our everyday routines necessitates careful consideration of their manufacturing process and location, as stated by Igor Kaganovich, the head of the Low Temperature Modeling Group at PPPL. To restore and sustain the United States' dominance in this field for years to come, it is imperative to possess dependable simulation tools that can precisely anticipate plasma behavior and expedite the production and design of silicon chips. At the Princeton Plasma Physics Laboratory, PPPL, there is a research endeavor underway to decrease the computational time required for simulating microchip plasma reactors. This advancement would have significant implications for the private sector, allowing them to utilize more sophisticated and precise simulations on a larger scale, ultimately contributing to the objective of reducing microchip costs. Andrew Tasman Powis, a co-author of the paper published in Physics of Plasmas and a computational research associate at PPPL, acknowledged the desire of companies to enhance their processes through simulations, but noted that the computational aspect can be quite costly. In response to this challenge, the team at PPPL is diligently working towards finding solutions. When physicists engage in simulations of plasma, their goal is to achieve the highest level of accuracy possible. Through these simulations, they aim to generate virtual representations that unveil the complexities of plasma behavior, showcasing even the most intricate details. To accomplish this, algorithms are employed. These are programs that adhere to a specific set of rules and are capable of simulating plasma in short time intervals and within limited spatial volumes. However, there is a drawback to conducting such detailed simulations. They demand the use of powerful computers that must run continuously for days or even weeks. This extended time frame, coupled with the associated costs, poses a challenge for companies seeking to utilize these simulations to enhance their microchip manufacturing processes. In their exploration of the historical advancements in plasma physics, the researchers sought out pre-existing algorithms that could potentially expedite the simulation of microchip plasma. After delving into the annals of plasma physics history, the researchers unearthed algorithms from the 1980s that showed promise. Upon testing these algorithms, it became evident that they possessed the ability to model microchip plasma systems in significantly less time, albeit with a slight compromise in accuracy. The researchers made a significant discovery regarding the simulation of plasma particles in larger areas and longer time intervals. Surprisingly, they were able to achieve accurate results despite these adjustments. Hao Min Sun, the study's lead researcher and a former graduate student in Princeton University's program in plasma physics, emphasized the importance of this development, stating that it has the potential to save companies both time and money. By utilizing the same computational resources, more simulations can be generated, leading to improved manufacturing processes and a deeper understanding of physics. With limited resources, the ability to make numerous discoveries is greatly enhanced. Huis's related research further supports the potential of this possibility. In an article released in Physics of Plasmas, Powis affirms the ability of computer codes to construct precise representations of plasma particles by utilizing virtual cells 
or condensed spatial units that surpass the typical measurement known as the Debye length in plasma physics. This advancement implies that the codes can effectively function with fewer cells, ultimately reducing the required computing time. Powys expresses optimism about this development, stating, the implications of reducing the number of cells are positive, as it can decrease the computational expenses of the simulation and consequently enhance performance. By utilizing algorithms, it becomes possible to replicate the functionality of capacitively coupled plasma reactors, which are responsible for generating the plasma necessary for engineers to etch narrow channels into a silicon wafer. These minuscule pathways are what constitute the microcircuitry that enables the microchip to perform its intended tasks. Our objective is to create a model of this procedure in order to gain insights on how to effectively manage the plasma's characteristics, anticipate its behavior in a new apparatus, and subsequently forecast the etching properties to enhance the overall process, explained Powys. In order to enhance the reliability of the algorithms, the team intends to conduct additional tests that incorporate various wall and electrode materials. Powys emphasized the importance of building trust in these algorithms to ensure the precision of the results, acknowledging and surpassing inherent boundaries. A separate research endeavor is dedicated to addressing the potential errors that may arise in plasma simulations due to the inherent constraints of the simulation methods, which involve modeling a smaller quantity of plasma particles compared to the actual plasma. According to Sierra Jubin, the lead author of the paper published in Physics of Plasmas and a graduate student in the Princeton program in plasma physics, the ideal scenario when simulating plasma is to have the ability to monitor and track every individual particle constantly. However, due to the limitations of computing power, achieving this level of detail is not possible. In order to overcome this challenge, scientists create a code that condenses millions of particles into a single massive particle. This approach streamlines the computer's workload, but it also intensifies the interactions between these virtual megaparticles. Consequently, the process of thermalization, which involves the shift in the ratio of particles moving at different speeds, occurs at an accelerated rate compared to natural phenomena. In essence, the simulation fails to accurately replicate reality. Jubin emphasized the significance of addressing this problem, as failure to do so would result in an inaccurate representation of real-world phenomena. Understanding the precise number of electrons in motion at a given velocity, as well as their impact on the materials utilized in microchip production, necessitates an accurate depiction. In order to rectify these computational inaccuracies, the scientists discovered that by increasing the size and decreasing the density of the megaparticle volumes, they could diminish their interactions and decelerate the fluctuations in particle speeds. Jubin emphasized that these findings establish limitations on the potential of microchip plasma simulations, highlight the constraints that must be taken into account, and propose potential remedies. The discoveries made by Jubin serve to strengthen the belief that there is a pressing need for enhancements in current simulation methodologies. Whether it is due to the limitations of existing codes, which necessitate small scale and time intervals that ultimately hinder the speed of simulations, or the occurrence of computational errors, scientists must seek out novel approaches. This development represents a significant shift in the field, remarked Kaganovich, and PPPL is at the forefront of this endeavor. The funding for this study was provided by PPPL's Laboratory Directed Research and Development, LDRD, program. Computational calculations were conducted at the National Energy Research Scientific Computing Center, NERSC, which is a DOE user facility situated at Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory. Additionally, the Antia high-powered computing facility at India's Institute for Plasma Research was utilized. The research team consisted of scientists from Princeton University, the Swiss Plasma Center at the École Polytechnique Fédérale de Lausanne, Birla Institute of Technology and Science in India, Homi Baba National Institute in India, University of Alberta in Edmonton, Applied Materials Inc., and the Sino-French Institute of Nuclear Engineering and Technology in China. 
To support our channel's growth and ensure broader awareness, kindly hit the like and subscribe buttons. This will help us reach more individuals and disseminate valuable information. Thank you in advance.